All right, guys. Terry playing some off meta Varus top lane. And the plan is quite simple. We're going to have the longest ranged autos on Varus possible. Um, which means we're going to go for the Lethal Tempo setup. And then we're going to combine that along with the Rapid Fire. And of course, also the champ itself. It's going to be fun. So just in short, we have uh, Lethal Tempo, Presence, Bloodline, Cut the Grass, Biscuits, and also Cosmic. Now, of course, we also have Ghost and Flash. We'll definitely help along with it. Really facing off Akali. Not really too bad of a matchup. <laughs> He's struggling already. <laughs> nice. Wait a second. I can probably kill him right now. So you get my uh my Q. No forgiveness. <laughs> this is probably not really a lot of fun for this guy. And then I got ganked. A level two gank. Right. You know, I've always had like one problem like playing off meta champions. I always notice this because I, I, I've i played like so much off meta top lane so far, right? What I notice is that if you play off meta champions in top, so you play like, I don't know, Ash or Ferris or I don't know, weird stuff like Janna or something like that, you always have junglers com coming top lane. Always. Like they see that off meta champion and they're like, okay, I'm going to gank it. You know. I seem to notice that pattern from anyone. Like, even this Lee Sin, for instance, he ganked me level 2. So it's like a 2 minute 30 gank. You know? It's a bit disappointing. But when you play off meta, you always have to um, expect 1v2s. Well, that sucks. There goes my lane. <laughs> you have to play it safe now. I hope that this game, I hope we're going to have like a lot of counter ganks. Definitely um, end up like maxing my Q. I actually was thinking about maxing my E because of the slow. And it's also really easy to hit, but I also want to max Q. I'll max Q. Mm, she'll probably hit the Q. Deliver them to their end. Falk is pathing towards bottom, so we're not going to have him for a while. I think she'll probably reset. I think she will. Oh, lose the cannon. My bad. It's not a fair chance to beat her right now. Come a ghost coming like two. Give me a target. Okay. Oh, she ran off that way. And she's dead. That's how you're treating a collie. And now we reset. Okay. So, first things first. Um, what I think I'm probably going to do is just go for tier 1 boots as soon as possible. Or, yeah, I'll build it. Uh, let's go for shield bow. So, first of all, like shield bow is going to be it for the first item. Oh, my keyboard. Um, shield bow is going to be the first item. And then um, after that, we go rapid fire. We can have the, uh, the beautiful auto attacks. And then, like, after that, we could obviously going to take crit. Yeah, first things first, we go for shield bow. Seems like this Akali is going for a lot of bursts because she's going for raw damage. She has the pickaxe. Mm. 
Alright. So yeah, first things first, we're just gonna be perma poking with Q again. We'll make sure to get her low. I actually wanna free sound the wave because we also have Warwick like in the enemy jungle. If our colleague decides to stay, then we can probably get something done. Nice. <laughs> the off-meta pick is too strong, man. You don't beat a Varus. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that easy. Where's the Lee Sin ganks now, huh? No jungle this time for you. Now it's just a pure one v one. I want to go for um, or plate actually, but if I do so, it's going to be like big overextend because there's a good chance like Lee Sin might show up right now. Let's go for this one. Grab this one, and that's it. I want to sell the. Um, I'll just use it. I want to go for the uh, the attack speed. So far, looking good. Three and one. Against a Kali on three. Only has like one assist. The time I died against this guy, I actually died to Lee. So she didn't even grab the kill on me earlier. I am forsaken. Also, Lee is struggling in mid, so I'm not getting ganked anytime soon. Ooh, nice. Good hit. So now we gotta be careful because she can in theory hit ER. And then well, I'm pretty much dead then. So there's a ward down here. Now we just simply wait, we're just being patient. Farming with Varus is so easy to do because your passive just gives you like so much attack speed. So if you hit like one, you regain like so much attack speed, you can just take the secondary one super easily. Uh, this is going to be a free kill. Thank you, appreciate it. That was awesome. There's a Lee here though, so I'm still struggling. <laughs> Wait, I trolled my E so hard. <laughs> I trolled so hard. Oh, it could have killed him. Yeah, it sucks. Like, we died twice to Lee now. Uh, maybe Kale can, like, clean up the mess for me. Nice E. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, my E was really good, right? It was just perfect placement. It did a lot of damage on Lee, right? All right, let's shove it in. I want to get the uh, the wave. I, I'm probably just going to end up like rushing the wave. Shove it. Oh, there it goes, the wave. Okay. And let's get the plates. Wait. Nice. Now we shove. Akali's still roaming, so we're getting things done here.
to make sure to get all of it. I want to get the final play too. Nice. Uh, definitely Akali is coming top now. I think that she will be back right now. Might still get the whole thing. Lee is bot lane, so it's a 1v1 if she comes in. What? She's going hole breaker. What? I've never seen Akali going hole breaker before. That is really interesting. Hole breaker Akali. I am very interested in seeing how that's going to turn out. I want to see how strong this actually is. That's like literally the most random build that I've ever seen. <laughs> This guy's even going grasp a collie. A uh, quick question: Who made you play Varus top? Myself. I came up with this beautiful idea of bringing long autos to to Varus top. <laughs> Let's go. You later. No Alright, let's shift the next wave. Give me a target. Uh, at least in mid, so we're chilling. Got it. Nice. Oh, my ego cleaned up. I want to kill Ziggs. He's overextending. Used that for sure. Clean, flash, and stun actually. That was nice. No forgiveness. I'm probably gonna leave the, this guy for what it is. Let's go back to top lane. Shove the wave. We're getting very close to rapid fire. We need like 600 gold more to get it. So we're just going to have like shoving top now. I'm not really worried that anyone's going to go top. I don't think that will happen. Maybe they do now. No, never mind. I don't think they will. That's not Kali behind me fighting Warwick. I might face her off right here. No, I will not. Too late. This Kai'Sa and Blitz are like so fed. Ah! Oh! Oh, that hits? That's a long, that's a long queue, man. That's so disappointing. Like, that actually went. I made sure that there was enough distance. But I guess it was like the longest... What? Yeah, I guess it was like the longest uh, longest queue. Right on the edge. That's how it hit. 
All right, next uh, next time we go for right now is going to be Infinity Edge. So we have the long range autos now. We have the crits now. All we need is Infinity Edge to so we can actually have the the highest damage out there. And then all we need after that is probably Lord Dominic's. It depends on like what Lee and Akali is going to do. I think I'll probably end up like building it. I'll get the next wave. Down Drake. Hmm. This guy is is literally he's so confident in all inning there. Oh, I missed it. Uh, yeah, that will not work. A good start on a team fight, honestly. It sucks that we actually lost it still. Oh. She flashed in the last second. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Well, no bounty on Zig, so it was it's okay. I'm on time. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a hard game because, uh, well, we are doing pretty good, but my teammates are having the worst time ever. Especially my support is going on a bad run currently. Playing as Blitz can be so so annoying because one Q and it's all over. <laughs> Got it. Just check in to make sure. A price. I can, like, kill Ziggs very easily. I, I knew he was going to do it. That's why I dropped my ultimate down. I saw it coming. I actually missed it because he W'd the moment I pressed my R. Wow. It, it was really obvious he was going to do it because he just walked straight into me. I'm surprised I didn't even hit a single one because I believe I also missed my Q. Well, good time in lane, but like mid late game so far this is going so crappy currently. It's going so terrible. But still, I think if we make it to the late game, I think that we won't struggle that much. Because first of all, like Varus late game with this build is going to be awesome. Secondly, like we have a Fagar and Kale. So I'm not too worried about losing this game. Skill transfers to Fagar, which is fine. Nice. Take all the farm. The suit. Uh, the faster we get to Infinity Edge, the better. Yep, Blitzcrank is back in mid. I am Take this camp. Uh, 
Yeah, also dead. They just have to play patient. I do what I must. Can't wait to like start putting points to my E as well. So my E is even more useful. Because I want slow on my E. I can't continue like this is like destroying me. That was including my W, by the way. Oh, sucks. No kill. Blitz was like overextending, but made it out. Hmm. Should probably no. Yeah, there's more people out here, just like I thought. I need like uh 500 gold more, and then I'll have my infinity edge. And that's when we will have like a lot of more. We ha we will have a lot more damage. Kind of sucks we've been struggling like since we lo since we came out of lane. Got it. I need three hundred more. Well, they've already taken the jungle camp up here, I guess. And let's get this one. Yeah, this wave in the camp will get me my infinity edge. Got it. Two kills. Pretty good. Hmm. Before we decide to reset, I'll take the camps up here as well. And then I'll probably rotate back top and take the wave there. I'm trying to be as efficient as I can be. Man, this guy's like 4k HP almost. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, this guy has so much damage. It's ridiculous to see how this guy has like two bruiser items and has like almost 3.1. Yeah, he's got like 3.1k HP. He does like this much damage. Mm. Alright, we got Infinity Edge. Uh, next item will be Lord Dominix. And I guess you can probably figure out why I'm doing this. Like, obviously, they have a Lee, which will start to build more tanky. They have a Blitz, who is tanky. They have an Akali, who is also tanky. So, we take Lord Dominix, then we won't struggle that much. Uh, with how tanky they are. Feels a lot better now that we actually have like more damage on my uh, my crits. Hmm. My mommy just randomly goes in. That's how they get the kills. Honestly, like, my team should just, like, group mid lane as 5 now. I think we should just stand a fair chance to win. 
I think in, in a in a big like uh five against five like we just win. Out the door. Dude. Oh, I had to like get the package. Only cowards flee. Oh, but at my door. So I'm back now. Hopefully I didn't miss too much, man. I'm still three levels ahead, so that's a good thing. Oh, we're going to miss this one, don't we? We win this fight. We casted it earlier. I wanted to hit my W and Q like right on the end right there. Oh, man. Such an unfortunate fight. I think if I hit my E just a bit sooner and landed when Ziggs was being stunned, uh, I would have been able to kill him without even flashing, but I wanted to like hold it just for a bit longer so my slow would actually apply. Okay. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, we shouldn't struggle that much, man. Like, we are level 16. I call it level 14, all that stuff. The whole enemy team, they, they have champions that we can beat very easily, but we just have to group as five, which hasn't really happened this game yet. Just watch it, man. Like, if we group again next time, we I'm pretty sure we probably win. Like, we almost won, like, five against four. Well, four against five, actually. Because Kale wasn't bottling like taking turrets. He's not alone. Ah, right. Uh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the the, the team is like. <laughs> My jungler was like walking the other way. <laughs> I don't know what's going on this game, but like grouping is really hard to do. Like it doesn't really happen this game. I am this Mumu has like 15 deaths. Dying the exact same way all the time. Yeah, so disappointing. This was a five against four. We should have won it. Akali wasn't there either. Yeah, this look. Hey, you just used to go in. Oh man. Oh man, that I'm really just had to go in the moment he had the chance. Got him. Saving the day. Oh, let's go top. They have like two TPs, so we have to be very careful. So like one item to go as well. Okay, they're grouped up again. Let's go. I'm gonna buy. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up like buying a bloodthirster just for the he uh, for the extra healing, having the extra shield, still have the damage. Most importantly, nice. And I think they might flank the base. I think they probably will. So don't be too surprised. I'll get the bombs out. No 
Yeah, so far, like, um, Varus, like, Lethality Varus feels the best, in my opinion. But the long-range auto, like, build is certainly... It, it feels pretty funny as well. But I think I'm more of a uh, the Lethality person, I guess. I don't want to walk out of base because I think they're going to, like, flank it. As long as I don't know where they are, I'm not going to be leaving that base. Let's get like one. There's uh, two people mid, one guy bar lane. There's three people showing up. There's one guy dead, so there's... Okay, there's like four people showing up. Let's go. If there's like four people showing up at once, and there's one dead, like... Then we can actually move up. Um, I don't want to use my R. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, a Mumu, like, all he had to do was Q in. Ah oh, man, like, come on. Like, a Mumu has. Ah. Amumu lets the turret go down here. He goes in at the wrong moment with his Q and he dies. When I need him the most, he doesn't Q in. It's always just the complete opposite of, of, of what needs to happen. They can't really do much. I think about the base. I'll respawn in five seconds so I can defend the base myself. Uh, what do you think about Collector in general? Um, I mean, not really bad. I build Collector quite often, but it depends on the champ and the build I'm using. I wonder, can we still turn around this game? I am forsaken. Is it possible? <laughs> There's one guy top, I one guy ball in, so we're gonna shove. We are completely maxed out. All we need is red potion, and that's it. Also, gotta remember they got TP. I like to CC lock. <clears throat> this is probably a win. Or maybe it isn't. Ha <laughs> ha, we win. Unbelievable. <laughs> Hey, either way, this is Varus Top. Thank you so much for watching uh, today's off-meta video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.